Wow, I can't wait to show you the new and improved Google's AI Test Kitchen. About four to five months ago, we checked out Google's AI Test Kitchen. Well, guess what? We're diving back in. Google has been up to some cool stuff, and I can't wait to show you. They've revamped Music LM into something even more incredible. Now it's called Music FX. And hold on, there's more. They've added a brand new tool, Text FX. Before we jump in and see what these updates are all about, here are some things you need to know. I'm going to cover the basics and then dive into the fun part, testing the new AI tools. But be sure to watch the full video because after we test these tools, I'll be going over some important information regarding these tools. So here goes. Music FX is an experimental technology that allows you to generate your own music. Certain queries that mention specific artists or include vocals will not be generated. Music FX is powered by Google's Music LM and uses Google DeepMind's novel watermarking technology, Synth ID, to embed a digital watermark in the outputs. We need your help to improve AI for everybody. Generated audio and prompt suggestions are experimental. You can report content under our policies or applicable laws or give feedback by clicking the flag icon so we can improve AI responsibly together. And TextFX is an experimental technology that allows you to expand the writing process by generating creative possibilities with text and language. TextFX may display inaccurate information about people, so please double check its outputs. TextFX is powered by Google's Palm 2 and was created in collaboration with Lupe Fiasco, drawing inspiration from the lyrical and linguistic techniques he has developed throughout his career. We need your help to improve AI for everybody. Generated outputs are experimental. You can report content under our policies or applicable laws or give feedback by clicking the flag icon so we can improve AI responsibly together. With that being said, these tools are currently only available in English. Also, as of now, these tools are currently available to users in the following countries and regions, US, Kenya, New Zealand, and Australia. So, without further ado, let's dive into the new AI test kitchen by Google. First up, let's take a look at Music FX. By default, you can click on the I'm feeling lucky button and let Music FX randomly generate some music. Or you can type out your prompt and click generate to create some music based on your prompt. Towards the bottom, you have some preset settings you can add to your prompt. Over to the right hand side, we have settings. By default, we have a random seed and a track length setting set at 30 seconds, which you can change to 50 seconds or 70 seconds. Then we have a looping checkbox that stitches the beginning and end of your track to make your music endless. So before I generate some tracks, the only setting I'll change here is the track length. I'll select the max, which is 70 seconds. Now, for my prompt, I'll give you a sneak peek into how I create my prompts. It's like my little behind the scenes process. Next up we have drum roll. Okay, so maybe not so behind the scenes, but of course, ChatGPT is how I get my prompts. So let me start by asking ChatGPT to describe how a future bass song sounds in 160 characters or less. Here's what ChatGPT has to say. A future bass song blends lush synths, melodic bass lines, and vibrant beats for a lively, emotive sound with catchy drops and dreamy vibes. So I'll select lush synths, melodic bass lines, and vibrant beats for a lively, emotive sound with catchy drops and dreamy vibes and head back over to Music FX. Let me paste my prompt and see what results we get. You stupid f so, of course, when I am trying to record, all of a sudden errors will happen such as this error. So I flagged it, and for the reason I just said, why is this against the policies? Because after all, it did say generated outputs are experimental. You can report content under our policies or applicable laws or give feedback by clicking the flag icon. I'm thinking maybe the word lush flagged and triggered that error. Oh my god. So let me remove that keyword and try again. Keep in mind this is not cherry picked. I am recording this on the go. I'll show you exactly what is generated, whether it is a good or bad generation. The only thing I'll do is speed this up a bit. There we go. That result wasn't too bad. With Music FX, it will generate two tracks. So let's hear the second track it generated for this prompt. Okay, not exactly future bass, but decent enough output to be used as free uncopyrighted music to use as your background music. Fun fact, every single track you heard on this video and will hear moving forward was generated using Music FX. Now, I'm going to click start over. Before we move on to the text FX tool, I'll try this I'm feeling lucky button. Thank you. 
Okay, cool. So that I'm feeling lucky button generated this track and the prompt it used was sounds that create a soothing and adventurous atmosphere. Music FX continues to thrive. Now with a sleek new interface and features to loop tracks and extend their length of up to 70 seconds is an awesome addition. Now, let's take a look at text FX. The same sleek interface as Music FX. Clicking on the different text FX options changes the theme's colors, clarifying you're in a different text FX settings. Anytime you need more information on a specific text FX, you can click on this more info button or click on Watch Lupe Use It as a demonstration. But since you're already watching my video, I'll run you through the different text FX now. So we start off in the acronym section. Here, you can basically type a word and it will give you a list of different acronyms. So let me use the word artificial. Since this is an AI channel and artificial seems pretty difficult to come up with some acronyms for it. So here goes. Artificial, erratically tested, intelligently forged, intelligent life. Wow, pretty cool. Here are some other acronyms for artificial. You can click on the view more button to see more acronyms. And there we go. Even more acronyms for the word artificial. Here it says showing six out of eight. So text FX got a total of eight acronyms for the word artificial. I forgot to mention the temperature settings. This is how creative you want text FX to be. The lower the settings, the less creative it will be. The higher the settings, the more creative it will be. Looks like the default settings work just fine. However, when you're testing this tool yourself, Feel free to adjust the temperature settings as you wish. Moving on, let's check out alliteration. Alliteration. Find words in a category that start with a chosen letter. This tool makes it easy to come up with alliterative phrases, which can be useful in many creative and educational settings, such as writing and poetry, marketing and branding, education, entertainment, and more. So I'll use the word beach as an example, then select words starting with B. This was real time, and as you can see, it was pretty fast. Here are some alliterations for the word B with words starting with B. Now let's check out chain. Chain builds a sequence of words where each word relates to the last one. Here for example, if we click on more info, we can see a table example. The word fresh, chains off to fresh, fruit, orange, juice, blender, kitchen, chef, kiss. Let's try the chain FX. I'll use the word controversy. Here are some chain words for controversy. Again, it did eight out of eight results. Let's move on to explode. Explode creates phrases that sound similar to a given word. Again, I'll use controversy. And here are the results for controversy with the explode text FX. Next, we have fuse. For this FX, we will need to enter a thing in box one and enter another one here in text box two. So for this example, I'll use artificial and intelligence. And here are the results. I'll read the first paragraph for you. If you want to read the full output, simply pause the video if needed. Here it says, both artificial and intelligence are often associated with the future. Artificial with the idea of creating new technologies that will revolutionize the way we live. And intelligence with the idea of developing new ways to solve problems and create solutions. Okay, so that was the chain FX. Now let's check out POV. In POV, the FX will evaluate a topic through different points of view. This one will be interesting. I'll use controversy as the topic. Now let's check out scene. In scene it will generate sensory details about a scene. This is good for someone like me who does video editing. And if I am stuck trying to figure out what type of b-roll to use in my footage, I can use scene FX. For this I used tech event and it gave me a bunch of different scenes related to a tech event. Next up we got simile. With the simile FX it will create a simile about a thing or concept. A simile is a figure of speech. It compares two different things in an interesting way. It makes descriptions more vivid and fun. So for this example let's use controversy again. Here are the results. Feel free to pause the video to read the results. Moving on to Unexpect. With Unexpect, it will make a scene more creative and imaginative. This one is cool for out-the-box type of thinking. I'll use Cyborg Robot as a scene. Here are the first three results. A cyborg robot made out of Lego bricks. A cyborg robot that is powered by 100% renewable energy. A cyborg robot that is powered by a hamster wheel. Cool. Now last, but not least, we got Unfold. Unfold identifies words and phrases that contain a given word. In this example, I'll use controversy. Again, I forgot to mention this, but this works for all of the text FX. If there is a result you like, you can simply pin them by clicking on this pin icon. And that's our tour of Google's AI Test Kitchen with the new Music FX and Text FX. We've seen how Music FX can bring our musical ideas to life and how Text FX offers a wide range of creative writing tools. From generating acronyms to crafting similes, these tools have shown us just how versatile and fun AI can be. I hope you found these demonstrations 
questions as exciting as I did. If you've got thoughts or ideas about what you saw today, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more content like this. Keep experimenting, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.